Ted, good morning! <laughs> See that, Mikey? Ted's walking to work. Big deal. Guy takes five steps and he's there. Morning, Sully. Morning, Sully. Hey! Go get him, Mr. Sullivan. Quiet. You're making him lose his focus. Oh, no. Sorry! Boy, I'm feeling good today, Mikey. That thing is a killing machine. La, la, la. One of the challenges in making this film was we were inventing a whole new world, a place that nobody had ever been before. All scare floors are now active. The world of monsters behind your closet. And it was important to us to make it as believable as possible. And so the transition then to 3D just adds a whole nother level to that. You feel like you could walk down the street and around the side of this building. Have a good day, sweetie. You too, hon. It just adds this great dramatic effect that makes you feel and experience more than you would otherwise. We are on in seven, six. One of my favorite shots in 3D. Scares have started, the light goes on, and we pull down this long line, and scares are walking in and out of other worlds. When you see it in 3D, you can peek into those doors, and you have this very deep sense of space. It brings a new level of energy to the whole thing. Whoa. Oh, boy. Like when Mike and Sully go through the door fall. Ah! In 3D, it's amazing. I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be sick. For us, the 3D aspect of it is another way to communicate emotionally. It's a, a tool that we can use to make the audience feel something. And it just, it takes it to another level. <laughs> what can I say? The camera loves me. So I'm excited for the audience to see all the fun and the action and the adventure. <laughs> see it in three dimensions. Great job, buddy. We lost him. <laughs> no! Whoa! Look at your baby. Kitty! It's all right. As long as it doesn't come near us, we're gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>